Welcome to the main EMS clinician and EMS vehicle operator application instruction guide video about EMS licensure in Maine. In this video, we will discuss how to fill out the application, important information about the information and documents you will need in order to complete your application, and how to submit your application. On this home page of the application, there are several links. One is back to this video, and one is to a PDF of, gu of a guide of instructions for this video. On the instructions tab of the application, there are some important instructions for you to understand about the types of applications you are about to select. Read and understand these instructions. You must select the right application as this form changes based on your selections. For instance, if you are a reciprocity applicant, you will be required to upload in information about states that you've lived in previously and provide additional details about which states or territories you previously held licensure or certification. in. If you are a new applicant, you will be asked to enter information about where you've completed your training. Have you ever been licensed or certified as an EMS clinician in another state or territory? Yes or no? If yes, you will be prompted to select which states on the next page. We've given some important information here about becoming an EMS clinician in the state of Maine. Please read and understand this section before continuing on in the application. This is the page you will see if you select that you are a reciprocity applicant. Fees depend on the level of licensure that you're applying for as a reciprocity applicant. Reciprocity applicants at the EMR and EMT level pay $46. Applicants at the advanced EMT and paramedic level pay $71. Click the Save and Continue button to proceed to the next page of the application. The demographic section is separated into two sections, personal and public information. Demographic information on this page may be automatically populated into the application. Please review any pre-filled information and make corrections as needed. If you're unable to correct an incorrect field, please contact me and EMS for more assistance. State statute. Title 32, subsection 90B, requires that an applicant provide both a personal and public address, telephone number, and email address. Public record address is made available to any member of the public upon request. Applicants may provide a work or other address, telephone or electronic mail address as their public record address. There is no requirement that you use your home address as your public record address. You may use a current work or educational institution address and email address. Maine statute requires that licensees notify Maine EMS of any changes to address or contact information in writing within 10 days. If you select that you are under the age of 18, you must provide your parent or guardian's contact information in the section that follows. Maine EMS rules require parental guardian consent for licensure if the applicant is under 18 years of age. Click the Submit to Main EMS button to proceed to the next step of the application. Type of training used to apply for licensure. <clears throat> Your NREMT certification number. An applicant may enter their national EMS ID number, 12 digits with hyphens between groups of four, or their registry number, beginning with either an R, E, a or M in this field. If you selected continue education, only select this option if your licensure has been expired for more than 90 days. A field will then appear with this option that is selected that allows you to upload any supplemental documentation of training completed. Please only upload documents of training that do not appear in your main EMS education report in the e-licensure portal. 
For the initial training component of this section of the application, please select the option that reflects where you obtained your initial EMS education for the level you were applying for. If you have previously held licensure, please select the option that best reflects where you obtained the education that qualifies you for licensure at this time. If your initial education was obtained outside of the state of Maine or in another country, you would have to provide additional information. In the background information section, you must select all states you have lived in during the previous three years or 36 months. Maine residents who attend school out of state or who are based at a military installation out of state are not required to provide a criminal history record from that state unless you obtain a driver's license or a register to vote in that state. College students who reside in Maine during the school year, but who have not established Maine residency by registering to vote in Maine or obtaining a driver's license must provide a criminal history record from their home state. Applicants must provide criminal history records for any state lived in during the previous three years or 36 months. The report must be obtained from a state authority. Criminal history record reports from commercial or third-party services will not be accepted. Failure to provide the required criminal history record information will result in a denial of licensure. Applicants should contact the governmental agency responsible for criminal history records in the states of residence for information about obtaining a criminal history record report. This record is obtained at your expense. Main EMS considers an application complete when all documentation necessary for review has been received. You will be prompted to upload outstanding records to your application package following an incomplete submission. It is the applicant's responsibility to ensure Main EMS has received all necessary documentation. Please read and answer the questions in this section carefully. Main EMS defines convicted to mean a finding of guilty to, or a finding of not guilty by reason of insanity or mental disease or defect. A criminal offense is punishable by a possible period of incarceration whether or not such a sanction is imposed. Examples of criminal offenses include, but are not limited to, operating under the influence, operating after suspension, criminal speeding, and criminal trespassing. If any doubt exists when, these, when answering these questions, please get in touch with me and EMS for guidance. Failure to disclose reportable history may serve as grounds for denial of licensure. If you had answered yes to any of the preceding questions, you will be asked specific about the specific situation you're reporting to Maine EMS. These fields are required regardless if you have your documents available to upload at the time of the application submission. If you answer yes to having your documents available to upload, you will be prompted to upload the documents to your application. You should only answer yes if you have all the documents listed in the required documents, A to E above. If you do not have all documents related to your criminal conviction or civil infraction, you will still be able to proceed with the submission of the application. Main EMS considers an application complete when all documentation necessary for review has been received. You will be prompted to upload outstanding records to your application package following an incomplete submission. It is the applicant's responsibility to ensure that Main EMS receives all necessary documentation. To upload your criminal history documents, click on the Upload File button. Select the document you want to upload from your computer. Click on the Open button. The document will be uploaded to the application. Click on the Add Another button if additional documents are necessary. The Electronic Signature section. Please read the statement below carefully and enter your password and click Submit when 
you're digitally signing the application. Please remember, this application is a legal document. Enter today's date. Your username will be pre-populated. Enter your password and click the submit button below and wait for the page to refresh. Click the submit button. If all of your documents have been uploaded and your application is complete, you'll be brought to the checkout page. You can click the pay now button and you will receive an application, an email indicating your application has been received.